What's up, gang? In this video today, we're going to be going through, I think, three or four uh, K7500 made by Wells Gardner. So I have stacks of monitors today. It's going to be the 7500, and then up next is going to be K7000s. Uh, so on these, some of them I haven't tested it at all. So we're just kind of going through them and seeing where they are, what needs to be done. A couple of them I've already done some work on, so those we're kind of checking in after the cab kit. But uh, we got three or four clips. It's going to be kind of a long video, but stick around. At the end of all of this, when I get done for each monitor, I'm going to go through and find detail on what the symptoms were, what the problems were, and then what I had to actually do to fix each one. So if you're looking for the high detailed info, that'll be coming soon. Thanks. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been? I've stuck way black a hole. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp Waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes Score we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster and ask my baby, it starts slow then gets faster. I'm a record set or my Okay, this is a K7500. It's completely untested. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm expecting uh, some fireworks actually. But I'm recording it just in case there is. I didn't expect that. It was marked dead. That wasn't the sound of a dead monitor. That's actually a good sign. Let's see. All right, where's the test pattern generator? It is not a dead monitor. I'll spin it around here in just a second. That is good news there. Much easier to fix when they're not dead. Okay, let's see what we got when we turn the TPG on. When we on frame here. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I didn't plan on actually having any life out of this. I thought it was going to explode. Or at least start arcing. Okay, let's see what we got. Nothing. Okay, I can see something happening. Let's see what we can get going on the remote board here. Okay. Let's check this brightness down. Didn't help. Contrast. Looks like the uh, it's super blurry, it's super bright, that's what it looks like. That may have kicked on, but I don't know if that flyback's any good. It could be the tube, too. I don't think any of this is going to help us. I'm still nervous at this one. I'm not sure if it was this one or another one, but one of them had a crack in the flyback. Uh -huh. 
got a lot of green going on here. Now let's try to focus now. Tell them where as far as that goes. Right, let me get some uh, tools out and better prepare for this. Get the camera set up a little bit better. Maybe we can get this going right now. That would be nice. Hang on. All right. So this is the 7500 that was marked dead. Um, I do have an image. It is all blue at the moment. As soon as I touch it, it will change whatever color it feels like. <clears throat> let me get my sharpie so if i just tap on the pots i don't know if it's still going to do it i kind of got it to stabilize a little bit before if i would tap on the pots it would change to that color just by touching it i don't know if i got the neck board on there tighter let's see this should be red i think right now the blue is just oh, maybe it's green Blue it seems to be overdriving everything. I'm really just not sure if this is just a bad tube when I'm fighting or what we're dealing with here, but the colors are awful. And 7500, the uh, the color drive transistors on the neck board just get super super hot, and they end up peeling the traces off of there. So it could be a transistor transistor issue. I'm just not sure at the moment, but I have plenty of these chassis to test. So what I am gonna do is pull this chassis and put another one in here and we'll find out if this is a chassis problem or a tube problem. And if, if it is a tube problem, we'll just try a different tube and test both chassis on that. But we'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> same tube, different chassis, still K7500. Um, this one, I don't think should explode. The hot was good, the fuse was good, so I think the flyback is okay. Just had some few, a few bad caps that I noticed. So hopefully we'll get a little life out of this one and it'll look a little normal. It'd be nice to just adjust one out. And we got nothing out of that one. Oh. I think I'm unplugged, so. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, I really expected that one to come on. Yeah, come around. Alright, just kidding. Try to. Alright, I heard high voltage. Don't have anything on yet. Not a horizontal hold on this board here, on the control board. Let's see, we don't have one on there. Let's see if we can, we can change the sink a little on this thing. I'm really horrible at using this setup. I got it and needed to use it before I actually knew how to use it. So I'm having that problem still. don't know where the horizontal hold pot is for this monitor, but there, are, there is a little, uh, a little tiny board that's floating around in the middle. I see something. This is actually kind of a positive sign. That looks really good there if we can get this sink like that. Let's see here. Make sure I'm still recording. It keeps shutting off on me. I don't know why. Okay. Head off. Okay, I see it now. The 
值。Not that crazy, whatever it was. Mm. All right, so that actually looks pretty dang good. Obviously, it's not centered, but I might be able to call this sucker done. is next. Looks good like that though. Brightness. Brightness really isn't doing a whole lot. I'm going to see about the height. Just position on that a little better. Get it about there and then widen it out. That way we have an equal amount of each bar. But I'd say that looks pretty good right there. Let's check some of the other ones. Red, green, blue, gray. And I'm going to try a little bit of focus here. Either that or the convergence is off a little bit. I did my little screwdriver. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. It was just holding it. Oh, here it is. pretty good probably end up adjusting the convergence on it just a little bit let's see if I can get you a little bit better view here turn off some of the lights so you can actually see the monitor so this is another one done for this customer uh, focus for me there we go. So it's on the dark colors right now. Like it's more green than anything, but not bad. Not sure if I like how it's positioned, but that that doesn't even really matter because once you put it in a game, you're gonna have to center it for that game again anyway, most likely. But let's go ahead and pull this one. We got. Four more K7500s to test. The brightness does look a little too much in that. Maybe it's just that screen. Okay, well, let's get on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to try this again. This is the third K7500. Um, I expect this one to be really close. I think I'll just have to dial it in. This is Lance's first one for the record. And I tried this just a second ago, but I didn't have the bench plugged in. Uh, 
there's high voltage. I'll stand over here in case it explodes. So that was the uh, I think it was the vertical hole. Yeah, that was vertical hole. There's a little pot that's just right around here on the corner that is the horizontal hole. Of course that just must go bumpy. Alright, now let's try it again. I need a new pot on this board. Uh, now it's all the way freaking out. Alright, well, let me try this other hold on here anyway. Oh, you know what? There's a little daughter board. I don't have it on there, so hang on. Let's to turn it off without me to do that. I did that stupid thing. Of course, I would forget to do that. I hope I didn't tear anything up. wonder why it looks so funny. I have 10 of these sitting around. I just need to get one of the boards off. Actually, I had this one on there because I knew for sure it worked, and then I took it off and I was going to try the one that came on it, and I don't know what I did with it. You'll have to ignore the hockey game and listen to the hockey game over here. I got it as low as I can and still hear it. So that should help us out on the hole. And here's the vertical hold again. Wacko, wacko, wacko. Go on, stop in here somewhere. Alright, so let's try the other hold. Actually, it looks like the sink is off. Set up right here. Yeah, plugged in right. Got the right resolution. 7500 is a medium resolution. It started making a really weird noise. So I went the other way. So this is not bad, better. There's two little pots that's on that board too, and, and I might mess with those and and be able to slow this down a little bit. This isn't helping here either. Looks like the focus is off. The colors look good though. Let's try this guy. Let's just turn that off for a second. I don't like the way that looks. This happened to me yesterday when I was adjusting this board. I think as you're adjusting it, it starts to come off of the, the Bolex pins and it starts giving you a, a reaction like that. Yeah, blues are getting their asses kicked right now. That was three to one. That doesn't happen like that to them very often. All right, I'm gonna try the other pot. There's two pots on this board. That's actually real goofy. I don't like that at all. So, let me try it. 
try a different one of those. Well, there's only two pots on here. I'm, I should have did a little bit more research, but uh, in my little uh, archives that I have, that I go off of, it did not have much on the 7500. It had a uh, kind of like a troubleshooting guide, but when you look at it, it's like if your screen is too small, widen it. If your screen is too high, lower it. Like that's not really uh, helpful. But this is that little little board here. And there we go. So there's two pots. There, there, that's much better. So these are the ones that I'm messing with, and I'm thinking as I'm messing with them, this is just kind of rising up off the header pins. I'm hoping that's all it is, because I don't like the way that's looking. Maybe, maybe turn the brightness down a little bit. I do not like the way that is acting. Yeah, let me change this. I know this one works. I don't want to ruin it. I'm sure I have the parts and I could just replace all the stuff that's on it. I'm not getting good results. At least the results that I want. What's going on? This one. Stupid. I don't know why they glue some of that stuff down so tough. Like nobody ever is going to have to repair it ever. Wells Gardner should have known by now that that wasn't going to be true. So this is one of three for Lance. This is the, the first one of his that I've got to test so far. I expected good things out of this. The other two that he has. I don't know. I thought that the flybacks were good on both of them, and I'm starting to regret that decision because I didn't get part money from them for those. Let's see what we got. Still got some more oil. I don't think it was this one. Stop that. Get nothing out of this thing. It may just flat out be the wrong pot for that though. Oh, there we go. Hey yo. I was messing with the vertical position. Okay, so let's try to dial it in now. Go H position. Let's widen that up a little bit. No wits, huh? Oh, it does look like uh, the width coil was broken on this board, so we are probably going to have that problem. Let's see what we got on height here. That's not looking good either. I don't think this monitor is far, though. We can get a width, width coil on there. I'm going to stop on this one and give it a look over a little bit more. Definitely I'm going to change that width coil and I don't know why that uh, why the screen shrinking like that is a little scary. But we'll come back, uh, give me a few minutes and I'll put another uh, chassis in here for us to test. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Yeah. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Super and if hang I didn't on. get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. 
Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.